Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. We got some stuff. Been a long time coming to show you. Been a long time coming in the mail, which is directly opposite as a married man to the way I normally come. We got some beautiful uh, enveloped in pink something or other used tools looked like from that beautiful Manxum Scottish wee lad <laughs> from the Isle of Man. That's right, Big Clive sent me a package. And this you will recognize as the beta test of the EDM. This is, of course, for the project wherein we take a 3D printer and turn it into an electric, not a uh, electronic dance music machine, but an electric discharge machine. And the problem has always been and remains the power supply. What you need to do is get pulses of DC power um, into an electrode in order to erode away metal and it's there's no force involved but the the electronic supply is non-trivial and we had uh, we had tried to do it me and the uh, post-acopoleptic inventor uh, and that kind of just went by the wayside it, it died the slow death of a million cuts so credit where credit is due give yourselves a slap on the back and a gurgle and a chuckle you made this happen this is going to be open sourced once we uh, attempt to not let the smoke out and test her out make sure she works goo we'll likely do a, a group buy so if anybody wants a uh, edm power supply after we test her out we got the brain box over here no jankiness to her at all she's pretty cromulent yeah this is the fucking power of the internet man and if you're interested in doing some edm machining this is going to be the cock for Dolly. And preemptively to save some grief in the comments, I'll, I'll, I'll just, uh, for, for the cynics, I'll, I'll, I'll just beat you to the punch here. Yes, I am well aware that uh, Applied Science Ben, he made one, but it's a different kind of system. It's a through hole and it's just for drilling holes. So what we are uh, doing is, is using a power supply with the 3D printer and we're going to mesh all that together. So if you have a 3D printer, you'll be able to EDM. That was the focus of the thing. Also, you'll note he is using a store-bought off-the-shelf power supply, which is quite expensive. What's in the bag, man? What's in the... Enveloped in a beautiful... I, w I would expect no less from the man himself. Whoa. Beautiful. Old tools. Something after my own heart. A King Dick. Made in China. England. King Dick. That reminds me of when I was a younger man. Somebody said to me, oh, look at that. That's like the um, Applied Tools uh, Resurrection. He sent me some of these little guys too. Very slick. Thank you, Clive. That reminds me when I was a younger man, somebody said to me, I got a trick for making your dick 12 inches long. 12 inches long, I says. I ain't cutting my dick off for nobody. <laughs> to which he replies, and I'm making this part up. Oh, sure. Go on. You're hung like a baby. Absolutely, I am. Six pounds, four ounces, 22 inches long. I never claim to be the sharpest bulb in the shed, but when a handsome young horn man sends you uh, a king dick wrapped in a pretty pink package, there can be little doubt that he wants you to manhandle his tool. Having grown up under the propaganda of uh, Kanucky Stan, these Saskatchewan socket sets here, what are made by Hand Tool Rescue, are a very close approximation to the original King Dick. However, one thing I noticed off the hop here is that these are standard threads. Fine, uh, they look like, no, they're not fine pitch and a quarter inch national course. This guy's a little bit bigger, but if you look at the threads there and there's a fair bit of schmoo on there. Do you see here the threads? The treads, young lad, are either Acme or Whitworth, but they're flat, square crested, almost like a buttress thread. Very much stronger for a tool 
what's actually moving back and forth than just your typical uh, fastening thread. I don't have any numbers to back that up, but yeah, you'll just have to take my word for it. Or not. These are cool because you no longer need to steal the machinist micrometers to count tiny things. Say you're going to the washroom. Uh, so these, he puts a lot of work into these. There's a lot of handwork and he finishes them. They're nice. He does do, use that cherry red stuff just to get the patina on there, which I think is completely useless, but hey, a chacun son goût. That, uh, I believe they're still available on his website. He makes them uh, help support his channel. And they're, they're a cute little gadget. You know, sometimes you're looking for something to buy for somebody and give away or whatever. These, this is that. Thank you, Big Clive, for your uh, King Dick right in my inbox. Better than my outbox. And thank you, fellas, what uh, Chuck, uh, some legal tender at me to go and buy beer. Uh, I do buy beer. The rest of it gets wasted <laughs> on projects like this. Thank you very much. I'm much obliged and I appreciate your help. So thanks for watching. Keep your deck in the vice and stay tuned for this. One. She's a gooder.